Okay, so next in the chapter, I talk about uh, forgetting, and there are any number of reasons why we might uh, forget information. Uh, but before we start mentioning some of those, they do, uh, of course, mention uh, the two types of amnesia. Right? Two types of amnesia. There is anterograde amnesia and retrograde amnesia. Right? So anterograde amnesia is where, you know, if I, let's say time is flowing in this direction. All right, it's flowing that way. And at this point in time, you know, I injure my head, I fall and get a concussion, right? And tarograde amnesia means from that point forward, I'm going to forget information, all right? So I did actually have anterograde amnesia when I was younger in college. I was uh, ice skating, racing some other youngsters, I won the race, but then I had to swerve uh, to avoid hitting a child, <laughs> which I did. <laughs> but my head uh, hit the ice rather hard, <laughs> and evidently I was out for a moment, and then all my friends were around me, and I, so I, I blacked out for a moment, and then I was just really groggy, and they started asking me questions. And, you know, I was, I was answering okay, but I was still a little groggy, so some friends took, you know, took me home. And uh, one friend uh, says that she, you know, stayed and, uh, you know, woke me up every 30 minutes, you know, wouldn't let me get a uh, long sleep because, yeah, you shouldn't let someone who's got a concussion or possible concussion just go to sleep. That's not, not a good thing. So anyway, she, she says, like every, you know, 30 minutes for like the, you know, for hours, she was there waking me up, talking with me, and I have no recollection at all of that. All right? I mean, I, I remember, you know, going home and getting home, but then I don't remember anything from that point forward, right? So it was anterograde amnesia, right? Now, retrograde amnesia, of course, is going to be, we'll, we'll do this again. Time is flowing in this direction. It's flowing in this direction. I bang my head right here, and I cannot remember what happened retroly, what, what happened in the past or before I hit my head, right? That's retroactive amnesia, right? Retroactive amnesia. So, you know, there, there'd be examples of that, or someone might fall and bang their head and they can't remember what happened before the accident. Um, that would be retrograde, right? Uh, also, I mean, it's extremely rare, but I mean, if someone had uh, retrograde amnesia and they forgot who they were, they forgot their name, that would be retrograde amnesia. This is information they learned prior to the point of injury, right? Now, they do mention this Henry Mathiason in the book as uh, probably one of the worst examples uh, we have of someone who suffered anterograde amnesia, right? Anterograde amnesia. At least they focus on that part of his amnesia usually when they discuss him. Um, so yeah, he was having um, seizures that were getting worse and worse and worse. Um, it was like in the 1950s, I believe. Um, and nothing was making it better. The seizure, seizures were just getting worse and encompassing the whole brain, so it's threatening your, your life at that point. As a last resort, there's brain surgery to remove some structures that seemed to be where the seizures were originating from, and one of the structures uh, they did remove in HM was his hippocampus, right? So they removed his hippocampus. And so, as I said in an earlier video, for, for explicit declarative memories, he had severe anterograde amnesia for explicit or declarative memories for the rest of his life, right? He, uh, you know, if you had not met him before his surgery, you only met him after his surgery, he would never remember having met you, right? You go in and, oh, good morning, I'm Dr. S I'm Dr. Collier. It's nice to meet you today. I want to do some studies with you today. How do you feel about that? Okay. So I interact with him. 
and as long as I'm right there keeping on interacting with him, okay, he's fine, his short-term memory is working, right? But if I excuse myself and go out of the room, you know, uh, come back in a minute, oh, who are you? He'd say, oh, who are you? I've never met you before, right? So, yeah, it's just, it's that bad uh, for HM it was. Um, but they did discover that actually some memories, he could create some long-term memories, right? Uh, it, these were procedural memories, uh, memories that were more implicit, were still intact in him. He could, he could learn a new skill after his surgery, right? Uh, he could not explicitly remember having done it before, but implicitly he would get better at that skill over time. So that so there's a lot of different tricky things about memory, you know. Or you can have amnesia that affects one kind of memory, but not another kind of memory. Uh, so I think that's uh, that's it for for HM and this video. Okay.